So you've heard me talk about profit first, right? Well, today I'm going to tell you how it saved me from identity theft. Hey everyone, Craig here, and I'm a profit advisor and financial coach who's passionate about helping business owners take control of their revenue so that they can pay themselves more. Now, you've heard me talking about Profit First, right? It's a cash flow system that I teach my clients where they are controlling their money in a simple and easy way that doesn't need those accounting spreadsheets, but uses their behavior and their bank account to keep a pulse on what's going on. And most importantly, pays them more money. Now, in a nutshell, the way it works is it's going to be multiple bank accounts. So that instead of looking at a cash flow statement to decide whether you can afford to make a payment or, or whatever, or instead of looking at your bank account and seeing one single chunk of money sitting in one account, you're going to open up your phone or your account and you're going to see multiple accounts labeled profit, owner's pay, taxes, uh, operating expenses. And then that's how you're going to decide okay, can I afford this or can we make this decision or what can I pay myself? It's going to give you perfect clarity in what's going on and help you make those decisions moving forward. Now, obviously, there's a ton of benefits to that. I've seen it change lives in many, many businesses, myself included. But there's one benefit that I didn't even expect that hit me a few weeks ago. So a few weeks ago, I logged into my PayPal account and lo and behold, I had a negative balance of close to $10,000, $8,500 to be exact. And I started freaking out. What had happened? I look just endless amounts, 41 separate fraudulent transactions had been made in my account. Now what happened? Somebody somehow got into my account. They changed my password. They changed my primary email. So I had no idea anything was going on. They ordered a debit card under my name and started making charges through PayPal. Well, obviously it wasn't me. It took some phone calls, took some hours to get that reversed. PayPal was really supportive in this, reversed it. It was all taken care of in less than a week. Money was back. But here's the thing and here's how Profit First saved me. Because I have multiple accounts, I don't have just one bank account tied to my profit, to my business, right? I have all the accounts and well, PayPal is what I use to receive payments from certain things and it's only tied to my income account. So when I look at my bank account, it's tied to that income account and the good news is there's not a lot of money sitting in the income account because I move it out and I put it into the operating expenses to the profit to my owner's pay account. So when those charges happened, it normally would have pulled money out of my business account and that 8,500 would have been a negative in my actual cash, not just a balance that I owe PayPal because there was no money there. But what ended up happening is it pulled a little bit out of my, my income account and then when there was no more there, it just started showing a negative balance in PayPal that I would owe if it was actually me. Now again, if I only had one bank account, I would have lost 8,500, not permanently, but for a week, let's say, what if it took a month? What if it was even longer? What if X, Y, and Z, I'm in legal action? Because it wasn't, it was pretty challenging to prove that it wasn't me that made those transactions. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth, a lot of denials and claims that had to be resubmitted and phone calls and police reports, all these things. And again, luckily it was resolved within a week. But I've seen these things drag on for months and, and sometimes, I mean, you just lose the case. If, if they feel like the activity was your fault, that your account information had been compromised, that you had given it to someone or a PIN number, um, all those things. Now, that's they're going to try it. In most cases, it's, if you didn't make the charges, you're not liable for them. But long story short... I didn't have one account, I had the separate one. So I was able to maintain business as usual. I didn't have to miss any payments on my invoices. The only thing was the uh, small amount that was in my income account was gone temporarily, and, but it didn't bring my business to a halt. It wasn't an ultimate crisis other than an inconvenience. So Profit First saved me from having my bank account cleaned out. Now, if you are interested in Profit First, 
not only for identity theft, that's kind of a small benefit to it, but to just simply have more control over your business and your cash flow, I can help. That's what I do. That's what I specialize in. I've helped many, many businesses pay themselves more money and get more clarity and peace of mind on their business finances. All you have to do is click the link in the description below and book a call with me. We'll dig into your business. We'll give you a clear roadmap moving forward and make sure that you are permanently profitable and that your business pays you what you deserve. All right, guys, if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.